What if instead of spending $151 million on overtime policing alone on the subways, we paid for 95,000 low-income New Yorkers to access public transport? New York City police officers shot a man attempting to jump the turnstile in a subway on September 15th, as well as two bystanders and another cop. One bystander, Gregory Del Pesh, is in critical condition. The incident has sparked outrage, with many pointing to it as an example of excessive force and calling into question why fare evasion is so over-policed. $5.80 round trip, $2.80 90 cents one way is cost prohibitive to a significant number of New Yorkers. It's the difference between eating and not. Scott Heckinger is the founder of Zealous, an org that supports public defenders and other criminal justice reformers. He says New York City is one of the rare parts of America where an extensive subway network exists and therefore is relied on heavily by middle and low-income individuals for their daily needs. People need to use public transportation to get to critical appointments, job interviews, jobs. You can't deter poverty and the necessity of public transportation with the threat of an arrest. Data shows the city of New York spent around $150 million last year policing fare evaders. Even if they were to have caught every single person, the total owed back would barely be $100,000. Oh, and for what it's worth, $150 million could buy unlimited metro passes for 95,000 New Yorkers for an entire year.